Adobe After Effects is such a dense and powerful program that there are always more shortcuts and organizational tips that can help you be more proficient in the post-production process. Here are five more time-saving tips for Adobe After Effects. Instead of double-clicking to bring up your mask controls in order to move it, hold Alt or Option and click on your mask, then you can freely drag it around. This may seem small, but you'll see how much it helps if you're moving masks around a lot. If you want to make more refined movements, hit the arrow to move your selected mask one pixel in any direction, or hold Shift to move it 10 pixels at a time. Your computer's RAM is shared among all Adobe applications, as well as with the operating system itself. The easiest step is to close them if they're not in use, speeding up After Effects. But you can also dedicate a certain amount of RAM specifically for After Effects. Make sure you don't dedicate all of your RAM, however, because if there's nothing left over for the operating system, the whole computer will slow down. You can easily render using the After Effects Render Queue, but that means that your whole program is tied up in rendering. You can instead send the composition to Adobe Media Encoder for rendering, freeing up After Effects for more work. Simply select your composition, go up top to Add to Media Encoder Queue, then set the encoder to do the heavy lifting. This even works as a network. As long as the computer can see your files, they can be rendered remotely. A lot of times the work area's beginning and end points are different than the length of your composition, and you may find yourself scrolling or zooming to stay inside of it, which can be confusing and unnecessary. Trim your composition to match your beginning and end points by either right-clicking the bar above your comp and selecting the option to trim it, or by using the shortcut Shift or Control Command X. When using the same render and output settings for multiple projects, it's faster to create a template to apply each time. You can access this in the drop-down menu and then select your preferred settings, which include codec, resolution, and audio output. Save it, and then apply the template from the menu in the render queue when you're ready. There are three ways to modify keyframe properties with a mouse or trackpad. One is to just click and drag the mouse as far as you need to, which moves at the default rate. Another is to click and hold Command or Control while you drag the property, which will make your adjustment very fine, moving at just one-tenth of the default rate. The third is to hold Shift and drag the property, moving at 10 times the default rate. If you like this video and want to see part one, check out our YouTube channel or subscribe to us for even more tutorials. You can also read the Pond5 blog for other filmmaking tips and tricks. And as always, head over to Pond5.com to get millions of videos and other assets to use in your next project.